Hello students, so here's for part two of our egg experiment that I sent out on Monday. So hopefully you had time to start soaking your eggs in vinegar and you should be on your second day of soaking eggs in vinegar. So if you haven't yet completed the experiment or egg experiment, I would wait to watch this video. You can pause it now, but you can wait to watch the video until you're done because I want you to see your own results. If you have no interest in doing the experiment, uh, go ahead and keep watching or um, maybe this will inspire you to want to do it. So what you should have seen happening pretty immediately when you put the egg into the vinegar was some bubbles forming on the surface of the eggshell. And those bubbles were carbon dioxide gas or CO2. So carbon and, and oxygen, two molecules of oxygen. Um, atoms of oxygen making a molecule of CO2, excuse me. Um, so why that happens, the vinegar is actually an acid and it's called an aesthetic acid and vinegar that you buy at the grocery store is usually four to 5% um, vinegar and the rest is water. So can you imagine how quickly the eggshell would probably go away if you had a higher concentration of vinegar? But from the grocery store, they only, we only get it with a certain percent of acidity. So, and then the eggshell is made up of calcium carbonate. So when you put the egg into the vinegar, there's a chemical reaction and the vinegar reacts with that calcium carbonate on the eggshell and what it produces is, um, so this is the chemical equation for calcium acetate and then it also produces water and then it produces CO2, which is the part that we're able to see. Eventually you start to see like white bubbly stuff on the surface of the water and that is the calcium acetate, okay? And then obviously the water is just mixed in then with the vinegar. So this is the chemical equation. So you have the vinegar, which is the acid, right? And then the calcium carbonate. And when you put those two things together, this is what happens. Now you'll learn a ton about this when you get into high school or college chemistry, and you'll learn how these reactions happen and why they happen. But if you took, when I told you, um, first here's the egg without the shell. Okay, so it's squishy. It's almost like a bouncy ball. It actually does bounce if you wanna bounce it. I can't show you that because you can't see my, my desk. But anyways, it does bounce and it's squishy. And um, the, the part that's left is called the membrane, okay? So under the eggshell is a membrane, and then you have the egg white and the egg yolk inside there. Now, if you did the next part of the experiment, my eggs are a little wet or <laughs> leaking. Um, if you did the next part of the experiment and soaked the egg in cornstarch, it would look something like this, okay? And so you can see, I can feel the yolk in there. It's still really hard and um, feels like a regular yolk would, but you can see it got really small. So what happens is the membrane membrane of the egg is still what's called semi-permeable, which means that fluid can still go in and out of it. So when you put the egg in the corn syrup, the, um, how do you say it? The concentration of fluid is different on the inside of the egg than it is on the outside of the egg in the corn syrup. So as, through a process called osmosis, it tries to stabilize that uh, concentration of fluid. And if you actually like took a spoon, and you can still do this, take a spoon and kind of mix the corn syrup up, you'll see the differences in the density of the fluid that are uh, equalizing, okay? So this is what happens when you soak it in cornstarch. And then remember I told you to color some water and put it in another cup and then put your your shriveled up old lady leg or old lady egg, old egg and put it in there and then this is what happens. So I colored my water green. And so this is proof that that water from the outside then was trying to equalize through osmosis the concentration of water on the inside of the egg and the outside of the egg. And so it, it gets all, um, the green actually passes through in the water inside the egg so then it actually changes color. So like I told you guys, this is one of my favorite experiments ever. In fact, I just enjoyed doing it myself. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this and your bread sample pictures are coming out with this video. And I miss you guys and I hope you had a great Easter and I'm hopeful that we will see each other again in May.